So we woke up this morning to snow. There is a lot of snow on the ground. What do you think about the snow? Did it snow last night? So I'd say we got about an inch of snow. They were calling for anywhere between one inch to three inches. And we got some snow and it's on like, um, it's stuck to the road just a little bit, more to the grass. Um, there weren't any like school closings or anything. Like we didn't get that much snow, but it was still like a good amount. So all this snow has me motivated to finally put up our Christmas tree. I think it's time. It's today's like November 12th. It's the day after Veterans Day. And I'm just ready to put it up and complete my holiday decorating. I finally put away this pumpkin that used to be there and Grayson's spooky snow globe. There's one more thing that I need to put away, which is the scarecrow that's out front, um, which I can get to that anytime. So I think the plan is, is we're going to go to the library this morning and get out of the house for a little bit, go to story time like we usually do, and then we will put up the tree after Gray wakes up from his nap. And that way we can be like busy and get things done in the house and not really have to go anywhere. So that is our plan today. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. And I don't know if I ever showed you the other Christmas decorations, so let me show you them really fast. I don't really have that many. Um, I just accumulate every year and then I just keep putting them up. So we have this Christmas um, tree and it's like a countdown to Christmas. And so every day there's a different ornament and then you just hang it on a button. My mom got me this last year for Christmas. And so this is the first year I'm able to use them. When I was growing up, we had something similar to that Christmas tree. Um, and my siblings and I looked forward to putting up the ornaments every year. And actually we used to fight over who got to put up what ornament and um thankfully this one is different but in ours it only went across um six days it would be like one two three four five six and then it would start a new row and conveniently there were six of us and so each of us got to do it an even amount of times um, and so that always worked out for us but we used to fight over who got to put up what ornament and of course we always had to put santa as the last ornament so I only have gray, so he doesn't have to fight over the ornaments yet, but I'm sure sometime in the future we will have more kids and gray will have to fight over the ornaments, I guess. So I'm really excited to continue that tradition of, of counting down and putting up ornaments. This my mom gave me. She used to have at her house and she just got tired of it. This is another countdown to Christmas. Obviously it says days till Christmas and then you just move the candy cane down. And gray loves the snowman. This Santa, I think Anthony's grandparents gave it to us a while ago. Um, and so we just, I put it up because it's like fragile. And if Greg gets his hands on it, it will break. So another thing I have is at the end of the Christmas season, they always put everything left over on like super clearance. And so they had this Merry Christmas banner up for sale. And conveniently, we don't have a mantle, which stinks, but we do have like these little uh, nail sticking out of the wall and so I just like tied on either end and put up this Merry Christmas banner. Um, I still have a couple pumpkins up for Thanksgiving. This is my contribution to Thanksgiving. Um, I got this for Grayson last year. It's a little stocking with his name on it um, and I have a snowman and a Santa and another Santa that Gray keeps moving and this is the um, skirt for the tree that I got last year. So I'm thinking of, I moved this bench over. It used to be in the corner and I'm just gonna put the tree up right here and I'll film like us putting up the tree. Anthony never likes putting up the tree so he's never any help. And then, <laughs> so I just do it without him. And then I don't think Gray's gonna be much help putting up the tree. I'm kind of nervous just because I don't know how he's gonna do this year with the tree. Last year we put up the tree, he was just crawling so he wasn't that mobile. And so I'm not sure how he's gonna do this year. I'm afraid that I'm gonna put it up and he's just gonna demolish it every time. But it's not gonna keep me from putting up a tree. Like I have to put up a tree. I usually like to play Christmas music with it, which is fun when I put it up. Um, 
I just, for Grayson's stocking, going back to that, I just have like a generic like stocking holder. But eventually, like once I figure out how many kids we're gonna have, like I wanna get like themed ones that all go together. Um, my siblings and I had that growing up and I thought it was really cute. So those are my Christmas decorations. Again, I don't have very many. Um, but it's something and the snow is just so pretty and everywhere, but it's so cold. It's only like a high of 26 today. So burr, can you say burr? Burr. burr. So we will not be going outside other than to go in, like, in and out of the car. But yeah, I am ready to put up the Christmas um, tree. We're going to play some Christmas music and I will bring you guys along to put up our tree. I'm super excited because this year um, I have new ornaments to put on my tree. Um, I found a really good deal on like end of Christmas sale. They were selling ornaments super cheap at TJ Maxx. And so I got some good ones. And I also got a new tree topper. Um, this one I didn't get at end of sale. I actually got it a couple days ago, but it was only $5 at Target, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So come along with us to put up our Christmas tree. Grayson is going to sweep up the snow. <laughs> Woo! It's okay. Is it slippery? Oh, it's okay. First wipe out. A little icy, huh? Yeah. Ah. Snow! Is it cold? Burr! <laughs> I don't know how, what he thinks about it. <laughs> so pretty out. Both Grayson and Felix are investigating. I brought up the tree and the ornaments, and he is very interested in what's going on. I think he's just gonna make a big mess. Hmm. Yeah, is this a Christmas tree? Can you say Christmas tree? He's trying to put it on. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, I'm just thinking about it. There are more ornaments downstairs that I need to bring up. These are the new ornaments that I was talking about that I got last year, and these are my old ones. So I need to see, like, on my new ones if that's enough or if I should keep the old ones. If not, I'm just going to throw these old ones away. This tree is even pretty old. Like, eventually we're going to have to get a new tree. Have you guys seen, they've come out with new trees, like, past couple years, and they're, like, fake Christmas trees, but they have, like, snow, fake snow on them to make it look like a snow-dusted tree? I think they look so pretty. One day I want to get one of those. But for now, I'll stick with the tree that I've had since college. So this is Grayson's new favorite thing. He likes to get into the drawer that has all of our pots and pans, and he plays, plays with the pans. The wheels on the bus go round and round. And Felix likes to explore too. This is my life. And then he says, da. It means he wants the wheels on the bus go round and round. You gonna tap it? Tap, tap, tap. Aunt yeah, Allison showed him how to make music on pants, so now that's all he wants to do. He's also ah! found out how to get into the pantry, and so now I have to put boxes of cereal on his yeah. tagrams up, otherwise he will get into the boxes and spill them all over the floor, which has already happened twice today. Yay. <laughs> okay, so Gray is up from his nap and we have put the tree up. Now we just have to decorate it. Thankfully with a fake tree, it already comes with lights on it. So I just have to plug it in. So now we just gotta do ornaments and a star. 
Are you gonna decorate the tree? Okay. Okay, so we have the tree lit by plugging it in. And I put the Christmas tree skirt underneath it, which worked great. This is the first year we've had a tr Christmas tree skirt, like I said earlier. Beforehand, I used to just take one of the blankets that we had upstairs and I would just wrap that around the tree and that would be our Christmas tree skirt. So we actually have one um, and our tree is just going to be kind of smashed in that corner right there, but it, hey, it works. It's all good. Um, our tree is definitely looking like it's been used for several years, which it has. I mean, I want to say this tree is probably like five years old, maybe more. So yeah, it's got a little bit of wear and tear, but that's all right. And so now we are going to decorate it and put ornaments on it. And this guy is gonna supervise. Is it so pretty? So we have a problem. One of the ornaments, I just opened this. I didn't, you know, I got it last year. I haven't opened it since, so I just opened it today. And one of the ornaments was broken when I opened it. That's such a bummer. And of course, the ornament was laying like this, so I couldn't see until I opened it and saw. And of course, like, even if I would have saw it last year, I probably wouldn't have been able to return it because it was like on super sale clearance. So that's a bummer. And the other bummer that I can't believe I didn't realize that we needed is I have no hooks for the ornaments. I have all these ornaments and they don't have hooks on them, which is a problem. I don't know why, but for some reason I thought these ornaments would come with hooks and I, I don't know why that just slipped my mind. So I'm thinking we might have to go to the store real fast and get some hooks. I'm thinking that's what we should do. Because we need hooks for our ornaments. I mean, man, this is just such a bummer. I had it already, had the music playing, and we can't even put up the tree because I have no hooks for my ornaments. I guess it's because my old ornaments graze kind of went crazy on this but my old ornaments they came already pre-done and so I guess I just assumed all ornaments would be like that shoot all right so we're back from the store and I found ornament hooks way more than what we need but what can you do it was only what a dollar fifty and we are ready to tackle the tree Okay, so here's what the tree looks like with the with this box of ornaments. So there's, well there should be 18 on here, but there's 17 because one broke. So this is it with 18 ornaments, and then I still have these to go. And then I'll kind of reassess there. I do have these three things here, and these are full of like personalized ones that I've gotten over the years. So I think we're gonna have a pretty full tree. The question is, is do I bring any from last year on or do I just pitch them all? So I'll have to see, but this is how it's looking now. It's looking beautiful. And of course I have to put the tree topper on as well. Okay, so this is the tree with both boxes of ornaments up now. We did have a casualty high broke one of the ornaments but thankfully on the old pack that I have I have ones that look just like it so I just replaced it not a big deal I really like this color scheme so as you can see before in years past I had a purple blue and silver tree which isn't very Christmassy I don't know why I picked out these colors in the first place and now I have a red silver and gold theme which I love I just think that's like classic Christmas I like the different bulbs. I think it looks super cute. I almost feel like it doesn't really need much more, especially once you see I'm gonna put on the personalized bulbs, and I think it's gonna fill it out really nice. So um, let's put the personal ones on. Oh, thank you. He's been my helper. So let's see what it looks. Be back in a second. 
So this is my uh, bin of personalized ornaments. I don't have very many because um, I just started doing it a few years ago. So we have ornaments like this, first Christmas, and the light bulb's in the way, but it does say, it does say 2016, the year we got married. Um, engaged in that year. We've got baby's first Christmas for Gray, and another baby's first Christmas. Uh, we've got this one, our first home. Gray likes to play with them. We've got this one, when we adopted Felix in 2014. I've got this one, just married, when we got married, obviously. This one we have, it's a pregnant snowman we're expecting. And then this one, our honeymoon. I could get almost all of our personalized ornaments off of um, this shop called, what is it called? Ornaments with Love. That's where I get them. Um, and they do a really good job and they just ship them to me. So I want to get a new one. I try to get a new one each year. That's kind of like my tradition. And so I want to get one this year of like um, Anthony and I and Gray because it's a Christmas of just the three of us and I'm hoping by next year there'll be four of us um, and we'll have a new baby, so we'll see. But um, this might be the last Christmas of just three of us, so I want to get a, an ornament of that, so. That is my plan. We'll see if I actually get it. I have to remember to do it. I think they do some type of Black Friday sale, so I'm gonna wait till then to get it. Okay, so updated tree with the personalized ornaments, and then we have a couple that Anthony's grandma kind of gave to me, just because she wasn't using anymore. Um, let's see if I can, so like she gave us like this nutcracker, um, this little snowman. She had gave us a couple precious moment ones. So they're just random ones. And then I have some that say Anthony, like when he was born. Those were his first ornaments. So those are cute to have. I didn't put it on the tree this year, but I also have a little ornament. <laughs> Look, this was Anthony when he was a little kid. Ah, it's so cute. It says. Merry Christmas, love, Anthony, 1999. So cute. So he was like seven, six or seven in this. So I didn't hang that. There are a couple that I didn't hang, but I'm thinking this is good. I'm thinking this is our tree. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think I need more ornaments or do you think it's looking pretty good? I think it's pretty filled out. I mean, there are obviously all these ornaments, but I don't think it needs it. The only thing it does need is the star. So hold that thought and I will put the star on and then it will be complete. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I got this star and I was like, oh, it's five bucks. It's perfect. It's so tiny. It like looks weird on this tree. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Gosh, darn it. Uh, I don't know. I have this old one that I've been using, but like, it's so beat up. But it's definitely bigger. Oh man, what a bummer. Okay, here it is with the old topper. Do you guys think it looks better? It's definitely bigger than this dinky thing. Aww. Man, that's a bummer. I don't know what to do about that. But anyway, I'll have to figure out the star, but it is finished. We have our Christmas tree. Gray, do you like our tree? Do you like our Christmas tree? I think it's pretty. Do you see the star? What do you think? Star. Felix likes the tree too, huh? How long is my tree gonna stay up? I don't know. Gray, no, don't touch. Let go. No, 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 no. Grayson, don't touch. Oh boy. 
So even though we have a fake tree and not a real one, we can still smell what a real tree smells like thanks to a candle. My favorite candle from Bath and Body Works is called Fresh Balsam. It smells just like a Christmas tree. I have like three candles of this at all times because I go through them so fast and they smell so good, like just like a Christmas tree. Very sad. He's been taking short naps lately and so it's been making him very sad. So I'm not sure why he's been taking such short naps but it makes him very sad at the end of the day, huh? But yeah, so we're just gonna be here looking at our tree, listening to Christmas music and smelling our fresh balsam candle. Um, I think that's gonna be all for this vlog. Can you say bye-bye? We will see you guys in the next video. Um, I've been kind of down lately these past couple weeks just from Gray being sick and me being sick and the time change messing everything up. It's just been affecting my vlogging. And so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna close out the vlog that way, but uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.